Well, we want to continue our team coverage right now. As many who knew the man who died yesterday remember him as an innovator in the ski industry, both water skiing and snow skiing. Kyle Harvey is in Ogden outside of his business and Wall Avenue. Kyle. Yeah, that business is Good Carbon Industries. I spoke with a family friend and a business associate who'd known him for decades. And he told me that Dave Good really helped to revolutionize the way a lot of people ski, both snow ski and water ski. His big idea was to make poles that were traditionally out of aluminum, out of graphite and carbon fiber. I'm told he has several patents on products pertaining to those new materials for old products. This is some YouTube footage we looked up of him showing off some water ski products. He's also very involved in water skiing, perhaps more well known in the water skiing community than he is in the snow skiing community. Uh, again, same type of thing, using new materials to make products that were already in existence. Flying was his other big passion. It's, it's obvious this was a guy we were told today that was never stopped moving. He was a guy that really lived fast. His friend Tim Cole would co-pilot with him quite a bit and said Dave was incredibly skilled flying a plane. He was just an incredibly, uh, you know, kind of like a Michelangelo kind of guy where he, he had skill sets that were uh, multi-dimensional. Uh, he, could, he could do a lot of different things. And so what he was going to do was come in on a normal, normal, normal landing, which, uh, you know, nothing out of the wacko. There was nothing going on. There was no weather issues. There was no anything. Now, Cole says that Good was qualified to be an airline pilot. He actually owned a jet that he flew as well. He says Good had incredible attention to detail, even helped to develop computer software that was used for airplane navigation systems. So he says that experience should not have been an issue or a factor at all in the crash. He said figuring out what went wrong seemingly so fast, in his words, will require out-of-the-box thinking. He's really hoping that there's someone that can figure out what exactly happened. It's a huge mystery for him. Coming up next at 6 o'clock, we're also hearing that Dave was a bit of a philanthropist. We spoke with a man who would attribute much of his life and success to the start that he got from good. Uh, live in Ogden, I'm Kyle Harvey. Two news. Huge loss for many people. We will continue to follow this story as the investigation develops. You can find any updates on our website, KUTV.com.